I'm doing this video to show you how can you reduce the size of your videos, especially the videos that you might have screen recorded, the one like I'm doing right now on your computer. Well, I personally use Handbrake software. It's a free software. It's open source software available for free online. And I have right now turned it on. So I'm going to show you a, a recording that I have already done in order to upload it on YouTube. This is the recording. You can see the size of this recording is 184 MB right now. Now I am going to convert it. In fact, just to save a bit of time, I've already converted that video by using Handbrake into MP4 format. Now. And this is that video. So if you look into the size of this video, it is just 25 MB. So, well, what it means is the size of the video has been reduced from 184 MB to 25 MB. That's a huge, huge, huge and significant reduction in the size. Well, this is actually how I reduce the size of all my videos that I generally upload on YouTube because I don't have that reliable internet connection and uploading videos which are over 100 MB it can be quite cumbersome for me at times especially when internet is very intermittent unreliable so this is how you can change it I'll just show you once the software this is the handbrake software that is available on the internet you can see the link from where you can download this software below in the description all you need to do is that select the source that you want to convert or from one format to another handbrake software generally converts the file into mp4 file but you can also convert it into other formats depends on what formats are available so i'm selecting this file okay so it has read it the source file right now is in movie format mov the general format in which quicktime records the video now i have the output settings i can either put it into mp4 format or mkv format i've already done that as you can see the video on my desktop and i'm not going to do it once again the duration is not very long it's only one minutes and 24 seconds it's going to be available on youtube very soon so you can also see the picture size and everything the source is this much 1680 by 150 1050 pixels and output size also remains same frames per second remains same i don't change it at all in fact i don't change anything at all i don't even take any of the extra options whether it has to be web optimized especially for web purposes or it has to be particularly large file size i don't do this one added feature of this particular software handbrake is that you can add files to queue so basically this file already exists on desktop it's asking me if i want to override this file what i can do is that i can just change the name of this file okay so i have added the file to queue now and this is it it's showing me the queue now if i start it will automatically start processing the queue one by one so what happens is that if i have many videos to convert all at once i don't have to sit by the computer I just have to put them in queue and start it. It will automatically go on converting each of the videos into desired format that I want to. And once done, well, that's it. The output is available for me to use. So that was it, guys. The main purpose of this was that it helps to reduce the size of the video quite significantly, especially like me, if you want to upload them on YouTube or even generally, if you want to save them on hard disk, it saves you quite a, lot, quite a lot of space on your hard disk. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.